Hello everyone in YouTube land. This is Old Hippie Gamer bringing to you a video from Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. I have uh, seen a lot of people play this game and I've watched some gamers have some trouble with uh, the dyno testing so I thought I would make a short video on how to set up dyno testing to get maximum horsepower. So let's begin this video. Let's see, where should we try this at? How about Endless? I believe this is where I can find it. So let's see. It's been a little bit of time since I've actually played this game, so I hope I can remember all this. <laughs> This is loading. This don't take very long. You can find this game on Steam if you don't have this already. It is, really is a fun game to start with. And if you don't have it, you can find it on Steam. It is a blast. Now this is the first recording. And let me see. If you go over here is the Dino Tester right there. You can unlock these as you play the game. Get, uh, you start at the beginning and then uh, you unlock them as you go along. So. Let me, uh, I think we got to go here. Yeah, this is it. Going to rolling roller dyno. So let's go in here and tune the car. Now this is where you set up your dyno test. So you open this up. Go to your EEPROM. see three settings here. Now, I've watched a lot of people uh, have a lot of troubles with this by clicking one, then the other, and then the other. Well, the trick is on this one is to get the two on the end at the same level. And then if you watch, when I move the middle one, the ones on the end will level up at the same time. Now, as you can see right there, we can write that program as is. But we're going to try and get this all the way up to 20%, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So just keep it clicking this thing here. And now you see that if we click this one more, these drop down, right? And you can keep going down, keep going down, you're going to see that just continue to raise up. This is going to keep going to the same place. So what you got to do is take these, decrease them one at a time, and you'll see the middle one start to raise up carefully there you go now we've got full 20% on that on the dyno testing so it's very simple you just keep messing with the out one, outside ones once you get those at the right level and the middle one gets up to a certain point you can actually see them level up each other uh, you can watch this each time and you'll see how many times the middle one moves when you raise or lower the outside uh, cubes here so that's it right there that was all there was to it go into the chip tuning manual and it shows you, uh, gives you an idea of how that works. Then we go in here and we begin our dyno test. And there we go, plus 23%. Once it's done, it takes you right back out to the garage. So that's all there is to dyno testing. I'll do this one more time to show you how simple this is. Uh, that one went fairly quick, which I'm kind of surprised. But uh, let's go in. We'll go back in because it'll reset the the, uh, the tuning on it, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we'll go back in here. Go to EEPROM. Now you see they're in different settings. So I lowered that one and made that one even. Now let's just mess around with this a little bit and change it to see if we can get that a little bit different. So now, this will make it more interesting. So you've got one over here, no matter how much you do that, you see two move at the same time. So you can pretty much do this with any one of them. But I found it easier to do the outside ones in the same place, and then move your middle one. So you see, I moved the outside one and it went up above the other one. The first one goes up above the, the last one. So what we got to do here is just mess with these a little bit 
until you get the right one. And you can keep going around, as you can see, it just keeps bouncing around until they level off. And then just keep moving this, and now we're right at the edge. So if I click this one more, you see the outside one's moved up. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to keep lowering the outside ones until we get it even. Very simple, as you'll see. And then right there, there you go, it's done. It's just as simple as that. So that's the way you, you mess around. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to do it. You just gotta keep at it. Uh, that's the simplest way to do it instead of trying to do each one at a time and taking all day to get them to line up properly. So there you go, guys. There you go. That's all there is to it, guys. Simple as that. So, lesson learned. Anybody that ever tries to get this game and they're so fed up with trying to get the dino test to work properly, there's your easiest way to do that. And that's all she wrote. So, I'm going to end this video here and I'll put this up and you guys can comment below and let me know what you think. If it helped you, uh, if it didn't, I'll be glad to set up another one to show you how to change it or do something different if you want to lower it either way it doesn't matter where what you do you can still get that same uh you can get it equaled off all the way across so there you go guys thanks for watching take care now old hippie gainer this i'm signing out <laughs>